Hello, this is Chromo67 with another LEGO Star Wars review. Um, this is the Bounty Hunter Assault Gunship. Um, it's actually not, the real name of the ship is not Bounty Hunter Assault Gunship. It's actually the Halo, and I know this from the LEGO Star Wars 3 video game, which is actually pretty good. Um, so just check that out. Um, and, like watch the trailer and everything. Um, and I recommend you going and buying it. But yeah, of course. But um, yeah, let's get on with the review. Um, I really like this ship. It's got wow, amazing detail. Um, like ridiculous de detail. It's got from this the big part on the top to the holocron case so it's really good um yeah but um before i get on with the ship i'm going to show you the four characters so yeah here they are the stars of the kit the brand new sugi embo Aura Singh and IG-86, the assassin droid IG-86. So these are, wow, um, I am just thrilled to have them. Um, not so much the IG-86 though, because, yeah, I've, yeah, these are not rare, but, um, still pretty cool to have one in black. Um, I didn't get the assassin droid battle pack, um. So, yeah, this is my first assassin droid, but I made a couple out of my battle droid parts, but, yeah, that's it, and, um, it's actually pretty easy to make. All you have to do is take a battle droid part, and tan if you want to, and then take one of these pieces. It doesn't matter what color it is. It looks like, kind of like a wrench. Then you get one of these, hold on, these, stick it on this kind of looked, yeah um and then take an orange a glowing orange or a glowing green or whatever just one of the glowing ones and whatever color that you were using for these two pieces stick it on like that stick it on your battle droid and voila you've got an assassin droid um but he comes with a rifle so not a cool weapon or anything just a normal everyday rifle um, but yeah, that's IG-86. His name is not IG-88. That is the one from, um, episode 5 of the movies. Is IG-88. And he's, like, a silver. But this is IG-86. So remember that. He is from the... He's actually from the Cad Bane. Um, or he's from the Cad Bane. Um... Like the Senate, Senate, Senator one where he breaks into the Senate Capitol or whatever, the Senate building, and has the hostage senators. But yeah, that's IG-86. Um, moving on to Aura Singh, which this is assassin version Aura Singh. They just call it Aura Singh in the package, but this is really assassin Aura Singh. Because... Um, yeah, in the game, there's another version in the game that's the regular Aura Singh in the red and everything. But this is Assassin Aura Singh from the, um, whatever it's called. The, um, new, or the episode in Season 3 where Ahsoka's worried about Padme. And, um, yeah, and they thought that she was dead, but really she had escaped the crash from Season 2. Um, it's a really weird hairpiece right here. It's stuck up. It looks kind of like a serpent or something. But, um, yeah, and you just stick it on her head. and She's white for some reason, and it's really weird. She's got, like, a army uniform. She's got, like, bullets in her jacket or whatever. It's really weird. But, um, she's pretty cool, though. Um, she's got, like, black makeup or something. Purple or black makeup. So, yeah, it's kind of weird. Um, but, yeah. 
Um, and then we've got Embo. And wow, I love this guy. He is really cool. Um, I'll take off this so that you can get a better look at him. But he's got like a sergeant or a commander or something from the pirates. Um, the Lego pirates thing from the redcoats. And then he's got this like really cool face. Um, there we go. But yeah, that's a really cool face. Um, oh, and he's got a backside of his face. So he's actually got something on the back of his face. He's got like that weird thing. It looks like wrinkles. Um, and then on the front, wow, he's got like a belt across him. Got that thing right there. I can't really tell what that is. But um, yeah, he's got like a really cool detail, as you can see on just his shirt. And then on his pants, he's got this cool thing right there and a belt. So that's really cool. So this is probably one of my top ten minifigs that I have. Oh, and um, here's his helmet. Um, it's got a little bit of a scratch on it. As you can see right there, it's got a little bit of a scratch on it from me dropping it on the floor at one point. When I was trying to edit something, or when I was trying to um, move him, he fell out of his helmet somehow. But um, it's not loose, if that's what you're thinking. It's not loose, but I don't really know how it happened. But um, yeah, you can't really tell, though, that much. Um, but yeah, really detailed. Um, one of my top ten. I'd say he's probably my... Probably my seventh favorite minifig. So top, one of my top ten minifigs ever. So, yeah, it's really cool. Um, Sugi, on the other hand, is probably in the top 15 minifig range because she's pretty cool but not one of my best. Sugi's right here. But yeah, Sugi is not my best, but she's really cool. She's better than um Ora Singh, I think, honestly. Even though Ora Singh's got the Oh wait. Well yeah, I'll go back to that. But um Ora Singh has this cool thing right here, but um even though she's cool, I still like Sugi a little more. But um so she's like fourteen. Ora Singh's probably fifteen. But um yeah, she's got this weird thing right here and she looks kinda like she's you see right there, um, it's kind of weird, um, necklace, and wow, look at her face, you can tell from here, she looks pretty similar to the episode, she's in the bounty hunter episode, um, where the farmers need help, cause pirates are coming and taking their crops, and wow, um, she's got this, she's got the hair, she's kind of like a, um, I think she's a Darth Maul species. Oh, and look at that right there. I didn't even notice this until just now. She's got, like, all these little white things right there. But, um, she's a type, like, Darth Maul. Um, but, yeah, that's Sugi. So, oh, and I forgot to show you guys something on Embo and Aura Sing. On Aura Sing, there's this cool thing on her back. like a spring or something I don't know exactly what it is but if anybody can tell me what it is kind of click poison or something but if anybody can tell me what it is tell me in the comments please um yeah and um also on Embo I forgot to mention this um right here he's got this pretty cool thing on his back and yeah um, onto the ship, which I will say, pretty neat. Really glad to have it. Um, I'm gonna move this a little bit. But, um, yeah, it's got this, like, I don't really know what it is, but it's really cool. Um, um yeah, and, um, right here it's got this really funny looking 
decal. It's like a little pink starfish with a dagger and Japanese writing above it or something. It's really it's really funny. But um yeah, I don't really know what it means. So if any of you do know, tell me in the comments, but it's a really cool decal. Um and um this is landing mode actually where it's got the engines down in f oh wait yeah yeah i forgot to show you guys this um up here oops that was probably not the smartest thing to do um right here we've got this holocron box which is pretty cool oh man ah, one sec. let me get it out Falling into the, the compartment. Here it is. Okay. There it is without the little box. But, um, here's the little box. It's got, like, a whole bunch of controls on it or something. You open it up. And there looks like there's a little code thing right there from something. Take that off. There's a little holocron. There's your holocron. Ladies and gentlemen, the famous holocron. Woohoo! Not really. Not decaled at all. It's just three little glowy bricks. So not impressed with that. It's honestly pretty stupid. But um, yeah, you know, I'll stick this back in. Um, yeah, there it goes. Um, yeah, right here, it's got little blasters right there telescope blaster type things and then um here the cockpit really flimsy not not gonna stay up well see I'm not even touching it not like the T6 Jedi shuttle honestly I would rather Lego have just done it a take off take off um when I've got the daggers in there because it comes with two daggers but, um, I would have rather it just been a takeoff thing, like in the T6 Jedi shuttle. Oh, and if you go, here's an inside look. It's little controls. Oh, and there's a really funny part. Um, if you want to take a prisoner, close this. Hold on. You can, um, open right here. And right here. And stick a little person sitting down. I'll just use Sugi for now, since, yeah. Um, I'll stick her. Oh man, I can't get her in now. They have to kind of lay down a little bit. But, um, to get them in there, and you can close this. And then come back here, open this, and she's right there. It's hard to see, but she's right there. Um, yeah, and then you can pull her back out. Yeah. Or you can just stick cargo back there, because it's not really a good prison cell, but that's what it's supposed to be. Um, yeah, and then it's got this cool stuff on the engine right here. Um, and then you flip it around. Here's the back. Here's the top. And yeah, oh, and when you want it to fly, you just push this thing up, hold it, and the engines go straight. So that's flight mode right there. Pretty, pretty good, I guess. But, um, yeah. Um, so that's, that's flight mode. Um, oh man, I can't, I'm not holding it right. There we go. That's flight mode. But, um, yeah, um, please rate, comment, and s subscribe. This is my Bounty Hunter Assault Gunship LEGO Star Wars review. Um, well, Halo, the Halo. But, um, yeah, um, rate, comment, and subscribe. Check out my other videos. Um, and yeah, that is it. So, rate, comment, and subscribe. See you later, guys. This is Chroma67, signing off.